gate set wrong but I just thought I'd chuck this up here I got requested to do a video on my settings for race room now I play it with an Xbox one controller and I suggest you play it with an Xbox one controller I haven't tried an Xbox uh, sorry I haven't tried a PS4 controller but I've tried an Xbox 360 controller and I had all sorts of problems with that so PlayStation 4 controller might be okay but I've only used the Xbox one so I'll stick with that this tutorial will be, be around that now I'll start this for anyone who's new to a race room, it's just a bit confusing to start with sometimes, and I had a lot of problems mucking around with the controller getting it to work properly, so uh, I'll just go through the settings. Now, sound settings, um, you feel free to pause the video at any time, obviously, to, to have a look at my settings, copy my settings, do whatever you like. I suggest you probably do and start from there. Um, it's what works for me, and I've come over from Xbox, so uh, yeah, I find this pretty good. Now, I have the music volume turned down for this because I'm doing a stream, but, uh, yeah, so there you go, master volume, don't know, it's a pretty loud game, 58%, menu volumes, player volumes, uh, now the opponent's car volume is important, turn that down, uh, you want to still be able to hear the car, but you want to hear your car as well, because um, it gets quite disorientating if you can't hear your engine, uh, so there we go, brakes, road noise, feel free to choose whatever you like there, wind volume was quite loud so I turned that down, um, the sound in this game is phenomenal though so um, yeah, leave it up at least a bit, now gameplay settings, uh, you can see here rotation 180, um, I have manual and auto clutch, uh, brakes, ABS on, traction control on, you can set that later on in game, I'll show you that, uh, stability control off, counter steering off, your, your personal choice there, just takes over the wheel a bit when you get sideways. Um, AI control in pit lane, now what that is, is in pit lane sometimes I have it on because in some races you can come into the pit lane and bugger up your pit stop and it costs you a lot of time, so it's just easier if uh, they change the tyres and do all that sort of stuff selection for you. Uh, you got your ghost car, your race line. Uh, cockpit head movements, um, head up display settings, so I've gone those, you can see there, kilometres per hour, obviously you can go miles, uh, I've got a position bar, track map, driver names, uh, driver names is off, you can toggle that later on, uh, you got your mirrors on and off, uh, replays, in-game overlays, all that sort of stuff. Now, control settings. Uh, so there's my controller for now. I've got a set up for keyboard and controller for keyboard. I use for just uh, assigning some buttons to. Now assignments, this is the important stuff. So this is on the controller. Steer left is left stick left. Steer right, left stick right. Accelerate right trigger, brake left trigger. Now shift up a gear is X, shift down a gear is A, so you can reverse those if you like, depends what you're used to. Now DRS and PTP, which is push to pass, I set them on the left bumper. Some cars have this in this game, uh, some of the touring cars, uh, Formula One, that sort of thing. So um, set that to your left bumper, it's easier to get it that way. Launch control, don't worry. Now, uh, excuse me a second. <sighs> Five minutes late here. Uh, trash control step so the next I've got on the keyboard d-pad for the right arrow and previous traction control step is on the keyboard d-pad left arrow brake bias is on the cursory looking things up near between enter and the P button uh, up and down data flip display is uh, the right bumper now uh, that changes um, the actual in your dashboard of your car you've got the data readout and you click that and it'll change different data tire temperatures all that sort of thing it'll be on your heads up display on your dashboard now flash headlights I've got on up on the, the directional pad on the keyboard handbrake set to the B button on the Xbox controller I'll cycle down for those didn't worry about those that's obviously for keyboard type setup now pit speed limiter um, I've got to click in on the right stick now what that is is when you come into the pits there's a line you have to be doing under 80 kilometers an hour don't know what it is in miles but 80 kilometers an hour in the pits uh, you click that speed limiter on and it cuts the car to 80 k's 
Um, now, the pit request toggle is uh, while you're driving around the track, you've got to request a pit stop. So I've got that on the left stick click. So push the left stick in, um, and that brings up a talks to your pit boss and he allocates when you can come in for a pit stop. Now, the pit menu select, uh, I've got it on the back button, um, as in the one on the left in the middle of the controller. Uh, now, to control that menu, I've got the controller D pad up, down, four up and down obviously but increase and decrease increase on the right decrease on the left okay so your camera views I've got changed camera view outside car inside car bonnet view all that sort of stuff that's the Y button on the controller free look left is left on the left uh, sorry the right stick go left look right is the right stick and right rear look is the right stick and pull backwards so down I didn't worry about the other ones now this is a handy if you race inside the car, you can actually adjust the seat. So W, S, A and D, forward, back, left and right. Oh sorry, forward, backwards, up and down. Um, you can work those out yourself. It certainly ha ha helps with getting the right driving position or the right view. Uh, reset is on E. The start menu, pause, is uh, the start button. Uh, real time chat, C. Uh, you can toggle the track map on the minus, toggle the speed cluster, which I've used on the right stick up. So you tap it up uh, on the right stick and it will change between analog and digital type uh, on-screen display, display on the right bottom hand corner of your in-car view or out outside view. You can change that. Uh, ghost car button number three uh, on the keyboard. Race line four, driver's names. I've got to toggle on and off on the down button of the arrows on the keyboard, the directional pad, because sometimes people can have really long names and it takes up a lot of screen time. So, yeah, it's just a bit easy to clean the screen up a bit when you're on the racing. Position bar is eight, that's the bar at the top of the screen. Uh, your mirrors are nine, I usually have them on anyway. Replay R. And that's all I've set there. Advanced settings. So these ones here I haven't toggled with too much. But just have a quick look. Speed sensitivity 55. Steering speed 60. Max steering speed 299. Uh, analog 2. 2.1. 2.2. 1.5 to return multiplier. Steering sensitivity 0. Throttle 50. Brake 50. Clutch 20. Steering dead zone 20. Dead Throttle dead zone 0. Lower dead zone. Brake lower dead zone zero, clutch lower dead zone zero, they are more for um, your yeah, driving setups, your yeah, clutch pedals and stuff. Force feedback, I don't know about that because I haven't done it. I wish I could but I don't. That can't warrant spending the money for the amount of time I'd spend on it. So there's your advanced settings again. Uh, control settings, we've been through those. Video settings, now I've got a uh, i5 8600K with a uh, GDX 1066 gig with 16 gig of RAM. Um, I usually find this game runs pretty well. Like with that setup, I can run 120 frames pretty solid, uh, nice and smooth. But with streaming, I only set it to 60 hertz, 60 frames. So that's what it's set up for now. I actually have a 144 hertz monitor, but anyway. So that's the settings there. Note there that VSync is on. I just found it um, a lot better. You can change the field of view there as well. Uh, now, there's all the custom settings. Um, if you've got trouble with a graphics card, allowing graphics card, turn things off like your particle detail, a level of detail, tire marks, all that sort of stuff. But I usually have them on or high. Another one that really affects is those there your sampling, your um, A and E aliasing, bloom, uh, motion blur. I have on fast, motion blur is high. Uh, you can sort of turn the light shafts and lens effects, but one thing that matters a lot is we we'll stop your popping and stuff like that is the amount of visible cars. So I've got it set on 30 because mine runs fine like that, but when you're in a single player race and there's a big grid, uh, you probably don't need to see all 40 cars or whatever might be there, so just back it down to 20 or 30 or whatever works for you. 
um, the opponent's cockpit and what that is is when you say for instance you're doing some laps you come in on a qualifying for instance when you're in the pits um, you can spectate another player's car now if the opponent cockpits are on you can actually see the hands that you can see in their cockpit if not you just get the bonnet view that's what that's all about uh, and that's pretty self-explanatory now this part i'll explain the game to you just in a nutshell up here you've got your settings cog can't really remember what that cog is it doesn't do anything when i click it but that's your replay so as you play the game it saves your replays for you uh, we'll click on there there's all my replays you can watch them screenshot them do whatever you like so it's a pretty handy feature you don't physically have to uh, do that yourself but there you go uh, now, multi single player, so you can go in here and you can choose single events, championships, leaderboard challenge, so time trials. And there's your leaderboards, or you can go for a practice. Um, multiplayer. Now, this is online. It's pretty good online. You can play with most different people, so it doesn't need to be stuck to Asian servers or North American or whatever it might be. You find most of the servers on this game are. Uh, European or Scandinavian, somewhere like that. Um, but the ping, 300 pings, okay to play in the race game. Um, I find it okay anyway. Uh, so, explain this. You got your search bars up the top, so that's your filters for the certain races you're looking for. You can click on the bar, and it'll put it in alphabetical order, or you can click on here, which is what I do, and put players. So, obviously, most players in the server at the top to least at the bottom um, to explain this so the red ones are races in progress the grey ones you can join so P being practice, Q qualifying R race so so we can join that one on this circuit with any of those types of cars um, shows you here pit stops on um, might be traction control, fuel fuel wear, damage maybe, I can't remember which way it is, but that's all your your uh, race parameters. Now, for instance, you click on that, and you can add it to your favourites, but it also tells you down here your race parameters and also what car classes you can have, the track rotation, you know, traction control, free choice, whatever you want. So that just gives you an idea before you click on the server uh, what it is. Um, so just be aware you can't join the red ones, you can refresh it, once that's not red anymore you can join. Um, competitions, now what competitions are, uh, races put up by um, Race Room, and I think it tells you the time here, four days, I can't remember what they go for, two weeks maybe. But these ones here you can launch, so even if you don't own the car or the track, you can do these races and it's a good way to test out other cars and other tracks that you might not have so you can just do those for free um, sometimes there's other races here where you click on and it'll cost you uh, points or the in-game currency so that's it there and you can buy that there uh, might cost you a hundred to enter a race whatever it might be I don't usually worry about that but also you've got your account settings and stuff on this page uh, you've got your store you can go in here now, one thing I do recommend if you're starting out this game, don't go and buy everything. Uh, it's quite expensive. But one thing you will find, especially racing online, is most people have the starter pack. So the starter pack, I don't think it's going to show us, but it consists of quite a fair few tracks and a fair few types of cars. Or you can go down here and individually buy cars. I mean, there's heaps. You can go to the packs. Um, or what you can do also is test drive a car. Um, only gives you a certain amount of time frame on a track. So here's the packs. Uh, for instance, you might choose a pro pack, um, which is 34 euro, which is bloody expensive, really. But in that pack, you get all those cars, all these tracks. Uh, it shows you here what's included in the packs and certain paint jobs for cars. And there's the tracks. I own these couple already. Uh, but I do suggest you buy that starter pack. Now, one other thing, uh, always watch out for the discounted items. When they have sales a couple times a year, not very often, probably once or twice a year, but they're certainly worth it when they do. But I'll just grab that starter pack there. It's, uh, it's gold. I've got the European track pack uh, as well. So it's up to you. Do whatever you want. Just have a look around. Make sure, like, it's obviously better to buy it that way than others. Now, 
you can go select a car and also um, test drive it, which I did so before. Now we we'll go back to the game. Now there's a the store there, you can go straight to it from there. Um, your portal. So your portal is what we're just looking at there, but it's basically your player profile. So there, your friends and uh, some race data, uh, screenshots, uh, purchase content, all that sort of stuff. So that's all there. You can get your account data there as well. So that's just another way to see all that. Uh, and that's about it. So if you've got any other questions, feel free to leave me a... Um, uh, a message or contact me at bluntforcestudios at outlook.com or just leave a comment and I'll see them um, yeah so hope that helps I just found it a little bit difficult when I started because uh, it was quite um, quite hard to get it set up right especially the button configuration so try those buttons I highly suggest you start with those and see where you go from there um, yeah all right good luck have fun. Uh, if you ever want a game, sing out. I'm on Twitch. I stream regularly. Um, a couple of hours on the nights. Uh, hit me up on Twitch. Uh, Lethal Force, as you see the name under my ugly face there. Just look for that on Twitch. Um, and send us a follow. If you do, I'll have a look at your channel and, and maybe send when back. Um, and subscribe and like if you like the video. Um, just started a new channel, so it's not up and running yet, but I've, uh, I've just... Uh, put that this up there with my um, guitar music and uh, and uh, feel free to check that out as well all right thanks very much and uh, happy times